All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be snorkeling the 420 today. And the first thing we're going to need to do is start off by removing the seat and the center plastics to access the air box and a lot of the electronics. All right, we got the plastics off and the seat off. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come here to the air box. We're going to actually start removing it and I'll show you what we need to do to get to that once we start getting around into it. And then of course all of your electrical connections here, here, there's some here. And I think this is maybe the O2 sensor or something over here. There's some other connectors that need to be dielectric greased that we're going to be working on also. But for right now, we're going to remove the air box. Alright guys, got the top of the air box off. Remove the filter. And down here, you've got a little connector that you need to unplug there. And you need to, there's a little screw right here that will loosen up the air box actually from the intake there. Alright, so also way down in here is actually your factory snorkel. You're going to need to undo that. Okay, as you can see right here, we have unplugged this from the air box. And this is your factory snorkel right here. There's a little clamp in here. You're going to have to reach it from the other side. It's a small Phillips. You're going to have to undo that before you can get the air box out. All right, so next, unplug your computer. The computer just went right there unplugged these three plugs from it here just move it out of the way because we're going to do that with dielectric grease later also also we've got these relays here that we're going to need to to grease up to got a 10 meter, meter bolt right here that you need to remove and loosen up some of these tubes and stuff that makes this a little bit more maneuverable you're going to get it out of the way to get your factory snorkel out and there is a clip right there that you need to remove and you can just wiggle it out and just like that your factory sparkle is out and then next is a couple of clips you've got one here and one over here need to be removed and the box will slide right out okay a little wiggling and we do have the air box out next thing we're going to be doing is removing these here here and here and removing all the factory silicone you can you can see it all right there you need to get it all cleaned up because that's what we're going to be resealing where we go back together with it all so what we're going to do now is we're going to clean this up real good wash it remove all the factory silicone and put some uh new silicone on it all right, so the air box got it somewhat clean. Uh, don't forget there's a little tube that goes right there on the bottom. You need to make sure that you uh, remove it because we're going to be sealing that up also. Next step, what we're fixing to do is, is we want this silicone to stick to this real good. So all we're going to do is we're just going to take like a scuff pad and we're going to scuff all around the edges where we're going to be putting the silicone at. That way it gives you something to grab onto. So uh, I'll be back after I get through scuffing. Alright, so I don't even know if you can really see how light of a scuff I did, but just a light scuff, all you need is something for this silicone to grab onto. Now look, whatever you're saying, and don't forget, you're going to be sealing inside the grooves here. This is the top of your air box. So give it a little light sand and clean out all the dirt and stuff and give it something to stick to real good on the top of your air box also. We're going to be using this Ultra Black Gasket Maker from Permatex uh, to seal everything with. So I'm going to start sealing the air box. Now first thing, since you're going to be sealing this with the gasket sealer, you want to make sure you put this bottom one in first. If you put this top one in, first of all, you're going to fight putting this bottom one in, and you're not going to get to seal it right the way that you want to. So start at the bottom, put the, the smaller one in first, and work your way up. 
All right, guys, everything is sealed up. Just waiting on everything to dry. Now, please don't forget not to put your air filter back in before you get the top sealed and everything. Once it dries overnight, I'll pop the releases off again and put some uh, gasket sealer behind that also. Alright guys, just got through dielectricing all of the electrical connectors. This is from my lights, so you may not have that there, but you've got two here, two here, got the three up here, you got these fuses relays here. Again, this is for my lights, these here, but you've got these two here, and you got your fuse box and the green connector down there on this side. And don't forget, remember you hook up your air box, this is your uh, sensor, your air sensor, there. And then around on this side, you've got one here, and one here, and then tucked up back underneath there, you can see the the yellow bolt head there, that's your tilt sensor. Don't forget to get your tilt sensor, get some grease on it too. And what we're doing now is we're starting to run our small lines. And so as you can see, that one goes down to the rear diff there. This one's gonna go back there to the rear brakes. And then once we get some more run, I'll be back and show you where those go. And your rear brake one is right there in front of the two adjustments. And it actually has a couple of brackets that you see it runs up through. We're just gonna follow the factory line and bring it up to where we need to for the snorkels. All right guys, so that's your gas vent here. You're just gonna run it, follow it back through the factory spot and run it back and out. And then follow me right over here. We'll take a look at the front disc. And there it is, right there on the top of that. And then we'll be back when I get to the radiator. All right, guys, this is your water pump line. So we'll be rewriting it up and up to the front also. And then on the 2019s, it's this kind of red color line right here. That's for your fan motor. Uh, you can almost just disconnect it and put a T and seal it real good instead of fighting because it's way back here back on the fan motor way back there kind of hard to get to so I'm just probably just going to get a T and seal it real good and run it on up with that one also and then I think let's see we got the water pump so I've got the radiator and I think that's it. I'll count them in a minute and uh, I'll let you know here shortly. Alright guys, so we have all of our vent lines run. We've got the rear brake, the rear diff right there, and they're following, following along with the factory grommets or straps. And we've got everything dielectric up. And here's your gas vent line here. And again, it's just following the factory route. Going down here. Then over here, that's where our reservoir is. Got it routed going up around that way. And this one right here, this is coming from the front diff. This is the fan, and right here is the water pump, and I'm following the frame up right there along with uh, some wires, and everything is coming out right here. So next step, we'll be fitting the pipe all the way up to the front. Probably gonna drill the hole here 
probably have the snorkel about, I don't know, about this tall, just over the handlebars. And again, the box is back in. Everything is sealed up, even on the outer edges. So it'll just kind of be an easy snap back together once we're complete with everything. The big parts coming up is just trying to test fit everything, get everything cut just right to get this pipe to fix. Now, or to fit. Now one thing that I did do that made it a little simple is I actually cut the part of the factory snorkel right here out. I'm using it right here. I've got this all drawn and put together. So this will actually go back into the air box and this is the factory piece. So it's going to fit nice and snug. And then from there we'll have the various PVC and stuff like that. And once I get everything measured, cut and everything, I'll have you a list of everything and how far, how long, if I use 90s or 45s or 22.5s, I'll have all that for you. So stay tuned, we will start putting this pipe together. All right guys, so what I did for the air box is I took a 22 and a half inch, inch and a half street PVC pipe came straight out of the air box, used the, the factory clamp and everything. This is actually a piece of the factory snorkel that I cut off to make this turn and bend right here. Now when we come right through here by the intake, I'm actually going to put a piece of little rubber hose with some clamps to make it a little bit more flexible, plus whenever it's right here by the heat of the motor, it'll it'll absorb all the heat rather than straight on the plastic and then we'll continue it on with the regular PVC and uh, like I say once I get everything done I'll give you all the measurements alright so I've got just about everything where I want it got my Dremel tool and cut the hole out right there and the reason why I use the Dremel tool is it's a tight fit fits real good all the way around. What I'm going to do now is, is instead of having all my vent lines just sticking up out of here, I'm going to cut another hole right there and I'm going to use a smaller piece of PVC and I'm going to run my vent lines through it to make it kind of look a little nicer and a little neater. Alright guys, so got everything finished on the snorkel part right now. As you can see, it comes right on up. So, what we did was straight out of the air box, we used a Street 45, and then we went off into the piece that I cut off from the factory air box. Now, what I did was, was if you're looking at the air box like this, you can see right here, there's a big bevel, and it kind of goes out like this. Make sure you have a little bulb down here at the bottom whenever you're looking at it. So exactly from this bend, the big bend, not where it starts to bevel, but the big bend, exactly three and a half inches, cut it off, and it fits right in to that 45 coming out of the air box. And of course, I sealed it up real good. What I used was the Permatex Ultra Black. I mean, you can use Ultra Gray, whatever. Um, to seal it all up then came off again this is the factory part of the air box into a sleeve a blue boot right here where it rides around the intake and it kind of helps it, it lets me bend it a little bit but it also will protect the PVC the plastics from any heat because it actually is kind of touching the the manifold and stuff got it all sealed up I see I need to do a little bit more right there with the ultra black Got it sealed up around here. This is just here for a support to kind of help hold it. This piece, I actually did 28 inches. But as you see, I've got a little bit of a lean in my snorkel. But I've already glued everything together. And probably could have gone probably about 27 and a half, 27 and a quarter inches. But I go into a 90. Now your snorkel 
do your snorkel however high or however short you want to but just come on up I did mine with another 90 coming out a little two inch piece here and then a little 22 and a half just to kind of give it a, a little fold over and then like I said what we're gonna be working on next is I've got my hole dremeled up right here and we're gonna be running some more PVC I'll show you how I get it all done and all of my vent lines are going to be run inside of it and what we'll do is we're going to come up and we're going to follow the snorkel around using the same stuff only in a smaller and it'll come out like that just on top of it I think it'll look a little bit neater than just all your vent lines zip tied to the outside of the snorkel and make it look a little bit a little bit better so uh, give me a few minutes I'll get all the measurements for it, get it put together, and I'll tell you what I did there. Alright guys, so we're through with all the running of the snorkel kit and everything. Now I've got some batting down the hatches stuff to do, but just to recap, what we did was we ran inch and a half PVC for our snorkel. And what we did was, was coming out of the box, of course we sealed the box completely using the ultra black gasket maker and we came out of the air box with that 45 street and we cut that air box remember right there at the notch we cut it I think three and a half inches or three inches came out right here went into the coupling Made sure we got it all sealed up real good with the ultra black also. Came out with 20, I did 28 inches, but remember it, it was a little long, so my snorkel leans back just a little bit. So probably about 27 inches. Comes out here. Now you can see where I've got all my air lines run, and they actually come up right next to it inside a three-quarter inch PVC, and I have it run up along right there makes it look all nice and neat and the airlines come out right there now don't forget spray inside your snorkel and stuff just because we're be looking back at it it'll be all white and, and look kind of funny if not and then what I did for my water pump is I actually ran the line right up through here followed my handlebars and I loosely zip tied it along right here so that way I do have full turn still and then as you can see I do have full turn and clearance of the snorkel always make sure that you've got clearance there for the snorkel make sure your your handlebars don't hit it so anyway guys uh, that's a wrap for it snorkel kit cost me about uh, so I think it was hundred seven dollars with tax from Lowe's for all the materials and here I use of course a 90 inch and a half and then a 22 to give it a little bend there. Now I don't have a 22 in the quarter inch so I did put a 90 and wound up putting a 45 elbow right there no big deal still looks good still operates properly and everything and the last test that you need to do is you need to start your bike Hopefully you can see it on the, hopefully you can see it. Your air box should start to cave in whenever you cover your store. And that's what you want. And that shows that you got a good air seal on everything. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you be able to build your own snorkel kit instead of spending $300 online for a, a full kit. This works just as well. It is a little, little bit more work, but well worth it if you only want to spend about 100 bucks. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Any questions, and I'll get back to you.